Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kylan, and we're going to be talking about why Nervos Network is up a whopping 38% on the day. Before we get into this, there is a town hall going on, and I suspect, I suspect that there's going to be a lot of talks about what we're going to be talking about in just a second. It's going down January 31st, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Discord. It's on YouTube. A uh, lot of great people that will be there. So with that said, uh, Jamo says CKB announces it will integrate with Bitcoin and become a Bitcoin layer two. Volume's up 60% and the price tag is up 36%. And folks, I've been kind of telling you guys about how this thing has been squeezing on my Twitter handle, which we will be looking at in just a moment. But Nervos Network dropped this tweet and link to an article. CKB loves Bitcoin. So with that said, I started kind of looking around on this a little bit more and they want to bring Bitcoin to layer two. So it just is what it is. Innervation announces BTCKB initiative connecting Nervo CKB and Bitcoin. So with that said, folks, uh, this is very interesting uh, to see, to say the least. Uh, but Nervos Network Ecosystem Fund Innervation today announced the launch of the Bitcoin BTCKB initiative and incubation of the blockchain software company called Cell Studio. So Innervation has taken its first step to set a plan in motion, a blockchain uh, incubating Cell Studio, a blockchain software company led by Nervos co-founder Cypher Wang, folks. And let me tell you about Cypher Wang. This guy is right up there with the best blockchain designers, application designers, everything crypto that you could ever shake a stick at. Um, <clears throat> you know, if I could afford Cypher Wang, he would be the guy that I would go to for uh, cr helping create a project or something like that. Uh, this guy also created Joy ID, folks. This is one of the hottest up and coming crypto wallets that's around this thing every single day they are announcing partnerships and integrations uh with their wallet into like all these dexes and sexes and all sorts of stuff like dude they are no joke and i was happy to see that cypher wang uh, was on board with this whole thing because he has done an and basically uh, implemented amazing technology within the Joy ID wallet to make this thing work at a super high level with like pass keys and stuff like that. It's the first pass key wallet, folks. Uh, this thing is, I did a great video, which I'll link to the end screen. I'm excited, I'm talking fast. Uh, but Cypher Wang, great, great developer, uh, mind within this whole uh, coding world. I, I can't say enough. Good things about them. Uh, if you're new to Nervos Network, CKB, maybe you're just seeing this pump and you're DYORing, uh, stop by the Nervos Nation Telegram and Twitter handle, folks. Uh, this is where um, a lot of the community members hang out when they're not on like uh, Twitter. Uh, so you can ask a lot of questions. There's uh, a lot of good discussion going on within this group. Uh, so hit me up on Twitter, folks, at Real6Fig, and this is why, this is why. Uh, you know, a couple days ago, uh, when was this? January 26th. I said, looks like CKB is getting ready to break out. I had the very pleasant surprise this morning that this thing was on fire. I mean, this looks like a rocket blasted off. And you know what? We're going to be talking about what's come next because it's kind of interesting uh, but you can see nervous network folks uh, this thing's jumped 43 ranks overnight sitting at a cool 237 uh, in the whole crypto verse you know i've always kind of said to people i keep my eyes on projects within like the top 500 you know when you start getting you know past that 300 level there is some significant consideration that people should be giving to these projects. And Nervos Network is closing in quick. I do believe that we're going to see this thing climb up into the, the top 200, top 150 uh, very soon. And hopefully keep 
climbing. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So what we've seen with uh, CKB folks is some very, very uh, bullish price action, uh, to say the least. We're still up 34% on the day. I mean, oh, okay, you know, 50% on the week. How about that? How many coins are up 50% on the week? Uh, so yeah, this thing's looking good. Got a, just under a $200 million market cap. Uh, yeah, things are good. Things are really good right now. Things are really good. Uh, so let's just check them out right now on the charts. Let's see what's happening and where this thing is going. So, um, you know, I threw down a tweet a little bit earlier and let's see if I can find it. Here is the tweet I dropped folks. CKB is printing a very nice bull pennant at the moment, hoping that we see Elliott Wave Theory impulse to over the 161.8 uh, to around this uh, half cent level. And then I go on to talk a little bit about some of the laws of Elliott Wave Theory, folks. Now, what's happening right now with the CKB price tag, uh, basically, we are still kind of seeing this symmetrical triangle squeeze that did happen. Um, you know, it does appear that price action is possibly uh, coming back down for another test of this trend line here. But this thing could have morphed too. So I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. Um, you know, this could be some sort of quasi cup and handle that we are seeing form before this thing starts ripping off. There could also be uh, some potential, bear with me one second here, uh, for basically a little bit of a rising wedge that could be forming. Now I'm not trying to rain on this parade by any means. Um, you know, maybe it doesn't appear, maybe this is more of like a flag pattern, something like that, but um, there could be something that is kind of developing within these trend lines, and this could be a very tiny baby um, bullish Gartley pattern, possibly, uh, meaning that we might be gearing up to see price action do one of these. Uh, let me just do something very quick on this. I just want to confirm. Okay, so forget about what I just said. That is not an, an issue at this point in time. Uh, but yeah, right now we are seeing this kind of like bull flag, possibly this bull pennant that might be coming down for a retap of this trend line here. Uh, let's just look at the four hour chart. I mean, this thing shot up so quickly. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw this thing flag back down a little bit and get a little bit closer to possibly this cloud here. And on this four hour chart, I am seeing the preparation for what is called a golden cross. And while that might be bullish in the grand scheme of things, uh, sometimes uh, golden crosses uh, can be bearish. Here's an example of when a golden cross became bearish. Uh, let's see if we can find some more, especially when this thing runs up. Here we go. Uh, so just be on the lookout. You know, here's another example of a golden cross. We saw the price kind of dump a little bit. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but on this four hour chart, you know, for me, this price action is way up here. Uh, so it might need to come back in and just tap off this 50 moving average uh, before we th see this thing shoot back up. Uh, right now though, I mean, things are looking really good uh, for CKB. Um, you know, this has been an absolute monster uh, of a move. So uh, big shout out to Nervos Network, uh, all the CKB uh, people. Uh, this one was a long time coming and I hope that we can maybe uh, get back up to, bear with me one second, to around this half cent level. And in this tweet, I had mentioned how we might be gearing up to see some sort of Elliott Wave Theory move. Um, so basically, Elliott Wave Theory is, is a, a process where price action moves in impulse waves of three. And here's a very classic 
uh, impulse move or impulse wave. Uh, it's, this is almost textbook. So we had this very nice uh, impulse wave to the upside. And basically what we have after that are corrective waves. So we'll see a lot of times an impulse wave, then a corrective wave, and then so on and so forth. Uh, but sometimes, in a lot of cases, we will see Elliott wave theory within Elliott wave theory, meaning that we will see price action move like this to the upside. And so what happens is, um, folks, span two to three can never be shorter than span zero to one. So let's just say this span right here, I'm just gonna go ahead here and clear these charts. Uh, let's just say this is span zero to one. Basically what I'm gonna be looking for by default is price action from span two to three to be from this bottom part right here, to be basically uh, longer than this span here. So that tells me that we could possibly see price action of CKB maybe wander up to around this 0.052-ish level. And when we throw up a Fibonacci extension, that gets us kind of right up by like this 161.8 level, right around that 0.0051-ish level. But I'm hoping that we see price cruise all the way up to 0.3 on this. So that's kind of where uh, I am trying to calculate some of these numbers mentioned in this tweet. Uh, so with that said, folks, we're keeping our eye on CKB. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. This thing takes off running. I'm gonna go live and you're gonna miss out if you do not know about it. See you guys all on the next video. Peace. We live in a world overwhelmed by greed. One where the few control many. We must ignite a revolution. One that redistributes power back to the individual. We've only got one shot before time runs out. We don't take a stand, they win. Join the revolution.